Hi there, my name is Steve Knudsen. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps. In this demo, I'll talk a little bit about um, how we format columns in SharePoint. So when you start with the SharePoint document library, out of the box, you get something that looks a little like this, um, basically a list of documents. And I've added uh, two or well, three custom fields in here, a status field, an owner field, and a review field. Um, you can also add additional metadata yourself, um, although that's not the purpose of this talk. So what you might want to do though is highlight the values of the metadata to make them stand out a little more because at the moment as you, if, if you look at this you can't easily um, at a glance pick out for example which items need to be reviewed within the next 30 days or if there's uh, the differences in statuses um, shown in this column here. So uh, what Microsoft gives you is out of the box the ability now to format a column. So by clicking the title of the column, choosing uh, column settings and then format this column you'll get the column formatting options. Now you'll see this thing that says here is about uh, the format this, the, the column or the entire row. So we can do an entire row um, and we can, or we can just choose a particular column. So in this case I'll do the status column and I'll select the styling there. So by default, uh, when I do this, you'll see it just adds in some default color coding here. Um, however, that might not meet your needs. So you may decide you want to do something a little different. Uh, the first option is the conditional formatting. So by choosing conditional formatting, you'll see all of my columns have gone to a light grey. Um, but I want to add a different um, rule in here. So I'm going to add a format. So where the status field is equal to, um, in this case, approved. Now what I want to do here is change the colour so that approved items stand out. And then hit save. And you'll see from that, um, very easily, uh, very easy to add some formatting in. Um, and again, this is pretty good. However, there's a few things that you can't do. For example, a calculation based on a date range. So what I've done is I've prepared some, um, some uh, JSON definition files, which will allow us to customize this look a little further. So again, going back into the here, uh, into the status heading, choosing formatting the column, uh, and then going into advanced mode down the bottom here, you'll see that it starts giving me the JSON definition. And you can edit this definition if you want, if you're a developer, or if you're not a developer, you can grab some code from the Microsoft uh, website or GitHub, and I'll show you that at the end of the of this video, and also include links in my blog. So I've prepared a couple earlier, and one of the ones which is I've done here is a simple one for formatting the different statuses, and I'm just going to paste that code into this box here. Um, what you'll notice in here is you'll see a few things uh, where it has the field names and the different uh, definitions of those fields and the values to show them. And when I hit save, you'll notice the formatting change in my column on the side over here to include uh, my new colors and a wee icon. Now Microsoft provides a nice little definition for this, so um, very easy for you to pick that up as well. I'll just close out of there. Now another thing we might want to do is something with this review date field. So with review date, we might want to do a, a, a time-based calculation based on the number of days from today. But I'll just show you quickly that if we go and look in the formatting options, um, under the conditional formatting, although we've got a date field here, we can't do uh, a calculation based on the date. We can only pick the current date, so equal to, not equal to, before or after. Now what we, what's useful here is to be able to calculate days into the future, so say so 30 days from now or early or later. Um, you can't do that with the out of the box, so the only option you really have here is advanced mode. And if we do that, I'm just going to go into my notepad again, and I'm going to grab a little bit of JSON down here. This JSON has a calculation based um, uh, uh, field, and if we look in here you'll see it's got a little piece in here about now, the current date. Uh, and then a calculation based on the number of seconds. So it's actually calculating, in this case, 30 days into the future, and then saying if it's less than or equal to that date, highlight the color. So I'll just save that JSON, and you'll see now my um, item here, which is, so the current date today is the 13th of, of July. The 30th of July, which is less than 30 days into the future, um, is highlighted, but dates which are further out um, aren't. And this one here, which is an historical date, so the, first, the 20th of January, is also highlighted. There's a lot, of, a lot of tricks you can do with JSON um, formatting. Um, I'll just show one more just to give you an example. Um, and then I'll point you in the direction of some um, really useful resources. So in this case here, I've got the owner field. And what I might want to do is add the ability for a person to uh, quickly send an email to that owner. So again, in the advanced settings, I'm just going to paste some JSON in here. 
And in this case, uh, I have a little query which generates a, um, an email message uh, with some pre-baked in text. So if I click the little email address, uh, little email icon, you'll see it pop up my email here with a query, uh, procedure query, um, a block for me to type my text in and a link to the site. I'll just close out of that one. So these are some of the things that you can do with JSON. Now, one of the really cool things about it is it also rolls up into web parts. So if I go to my home page here, where I have a bunch of web parts set up for this particular library, you'll see the color formatting coming through into there as well. Um, now Microsoft creates uh, provides a nice little um, post on how to do some of the formatting, including the steps that I've shown here, um, and a little bit more information about and some example code. Uh, so there's quite a bit there. Uh, they also have resources available on GitHub. So you simply search for SharePoint uh, JSON column formatting, J-S-O-N column formatting, and you'll get an, a lot of examples available um, as a starting point. Um, or if you know a friendly developer, then you could work with them as well. I hope this has been useful. Um, as I say, further resources will be available on my blog, and I'll include a link in the comments at the bottom of this uh, video. Um, uh, but if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel um, and uh, check out the other content that I've created. Thank you.